Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you how I do my makeup for work. I work as a flight attendant at the moment. Uh, my company likes us to wear a, quite a heavy um, makeup, but I still try to do it as natural as possible because it's just the way I like my makeup. Um, yeah, throughout the tutorial I'm going to say or tell you why, for example, I don't wear red lipstick or anything. And I don't have my ma ma hair in um, the way we have to do it for the uniform or I'm wearing my uniform because I thought, okay, I'm um, yeah, trying to do another separate video maybe on the hair. And yeah, so regarding the makeup, um, it has to last for like 20 hours and like permanent. The longest flight we have is 14 hours. We have to be... Um, at the airport like two hours before the flight. I have to leave home maybe four hours before the flight and after the flight it's still um, two to three hours until we are in the hotel room. And um, we get time to sleep in the on the plane as well, like we have a little break and we can sleep and lay down, but we lay down or I at least lay down in my complete uniform, I don't get changed and we don't have time to redo our makeup or redo our hair. So I have to sleep in my makeup and it still has to look good or perfect um, after I wake up. Um, so yeah, the only thing I can touch up is a little bit of powder, lipstick and I have some blotting paper, but that's it. So yeah, I show you how I do my makeup for lasting and which products I use and I hope you do enjoy guys. So I'm starting off putting my hair a bit back. So the first product I'm going to use is the Sense Pure Skin um, Anti-Shine Pore Refining Serum. I put this on so I don't get shiny. I mean, um, I work for like 12 hours straight or I like the longest flight I do is 14 hours straight. Um, we meet two hours before the flight. I have to leave like um, four to three hours before the flight until we get into the hotel. A lot of time passes. So my makeup has to stay for a very, very, very long time. And I don't want to get shiny throughout, so that's why I use this serum. Then I don't use a liquid foundation because I'm not a fan of it, especially not if I'm wearing it such a long time. I don't want it to clog my pores or anything. But for my eyeshadow to stay longer while this sinks in, I'm using the Essence I Love Stage Eyeshadow Base. And yeah, like I said, my eyeshadow also has to stay for a long time. And that's why I use this primer. And then next step is um, some concealer, which I'm using the 12 hour um, matte muse makeup by Catrice in the color Natural Beige. And I use this with a concealer brush and just put it there wherever I'm a bit red or where I have spots, which right now my skin is really good, even though, um, yeah, in the airplane it's very, very, very dry air, but um, yeah, still my skin's been pretty good, been moisturizing it a bit more than usual. Um, because of the dryness and that's it. And then because I don't use a liquid foundation, I definitely use a um, powder foundation also to prevent that I get shiny. And I use the um, Sephora Mattifying Foundation in number 3610. And I use this with a big fluffy brush just all over my face. This is my all time favorite foundation. And now I'm using it in a darker color since I already got a little bit of a tan. Yeah, that's it. So then I'm going to continue with my eyes and my eyebrows. For that I use this Primark palette. It's the one that I take with me on all the flights. Um, it's the eyeshadow palette and has very, very um, neutral colors. And I use um, Tease, which is this one for my eyebrows. And then I use um, Happy Copper Mischief Gallic no, I don't know. I can't read the number. Like I can't read the names anymore. But I use um, this one um, for my eyelid color. 
This one is my crease color and this one in the outer corner of my eyes. And as a highlight, I use this color. So yeah, as you can see, I use one color for my eyebrows, which um, I'm going to do now with an angled brush. And then there are used for other colors for uh, my eyeshadow, actually. So that's perfect. This way I just have to bring this one palette with me. And that's it. So I just fill in my brows with this color to make them a bit more like visible since they're pretty pretty um, light and yeah they also said to us that um, it is yeah a must-have to do our brows since they frame our face and when I'm not going to work I actually don't do my eyebrows <laughs> But yeah, for work I've been starting doing them as you can see. And then I go through them or I brush through them with an eyebrow brow brush, which is this one. And I go just through them and that's it. Then I'm going to do my eyeshadow. So I'm taking the crease color first and putting that in my crease. And I um, go quite dark with my eyes since um, I'm doing a more neutral eyeshadow. So they really like you to put on quite heavy makeup and I'm not a fan of the red lipstick because of for one reason. I was going to say that later but well, well I'm going to tell you later but I don't wear a red lipstick. I wear a more neutral one and because of that I try to um, darken up my eyes a little bit more than usual. Like I still try to be pretty neutral because I think it's still in work environment. Um, even though they want us to wear heavy makeup, I just, I don't know, with myself, I can't really combine these two things. But yeah, then I'm using my eyelid color. This is like a nice little peachy tone. And my lip color is going to be um, an apricot color as well. And also my cheeks or cheek color. So that goes really really well and then I'm taking that other brown color and putting that on the outer corner of my eyes to darken it up a little bit more and yeah and then I'm going again in with a little bit of the crease color and yeah then I'm gonna dark that, darken that all up with um, some eyeliner a bit later but now I'm trying to clean up the edges and then I'll use um, this highlight color and highlight my brown bone and the inner corner of my eyes with it just like uh, this and then as I said I'm going to be using a um, eyeliner to line my upper and my lower lash line this is from Sephora and it's a Kokaya and brown uh, it doesn't have the a name or anything and I'll just go like messily around my upper lash line and then I'll take this elf brush and just blend this so it doesn't have to be neat just to darken this up a little bit more And the same I'll do with the other side of my eye. Just like this and then I'll do um, my lower lash line as well. And then I'm gonna curl my lashes and then I'm gonna use the Sense I Love Extreme um, Volume Mascara and then I'll be right back. And then to finish off I'm gonna use a bronzer and a highlighter and I'm gonna use this duo which I always take on, the, with the, um, on flights is by e.l.f. the Contour Blush and Bronzer and Blush and Bronze and it's a good dupe for the NARS um, Laguna Bronzer and the NARS Orgasm um, Blush so yeah that's what i'm using and the blush also works really well with the eyeshadow color and the um lip color and i'm using an angled elf brush with it as well 
So that's what I'm popping on right now. So yeah, that's it. I mean, it can be quite heavy. And like I said, that's what um, the company likes. And then for my lips, I'm using um, the Lancome um, Le Rouge Absolu number no. 6, which is a nice peachy tone. I also have a full size color of this lipstick. Uh, which is my uniform bag, that's why it's not here. And um, I'm not wearing red lipstick, which a lot of my colleagues um, do, and it, I love how it looks. But, like I said, I'm 12 hours working, and it's I don't have time to touch up my makeup a lot. And it already happened to me in training when I was wearing red lipstick that I had it on my teeth, I had it on my chin or somewhere, but not on my lips, because it rubbed off on my lips. and. It's just too much hustle um, to also have to think about your lipstick. And with this, if it wears off, it wears off evenly and it wears off in more in a color that my lips are. So it's not as bad if I don't have um, the perfect lipstick all the time. And yeah. So I hope you did enjoy the video and I hope to see you soon again, guys. Bye!